The Lord has risen. The Lord has risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Gracious God, thank you for this beautiful morning that we are alive to see the wonder of your marvelous creation. Before we begin, let us take a moment and ask God's forgiveness and blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 6 How Long I am angry with myself. I feel weak and fearful. I'm beset with conflicts inside and out, paralyzed, shaky, sleepless. How long must I endure this, God? What's the point? Is it a test? Do you care? Are you there? I can never prove you are there. I only know that I feel lighter for having asked. It comes to me what I could do next, that some of my conflicts can be put aside. Then I can face all that I need to do. I'm not so confused anymore. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verses 22. A merry heart does good, like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Our little proverb proclaims a wonderful truth to us during this octave of Easter. A merry heart is like medicine. It can heal. One of the greatest truths of our Easter season is that Jesus came to save us to heal the wounds caused by our sins. After hearing so many times early in the Gospels that Jesus' hour had not yet come, I find it striking that when the hour finally did arrive, after Jesus was welcomed into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, he didn't announce it by saying, the hour has come for me to be crucified and die the brutal death I told you about. No. In John 12, 23, he said, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Glorified! He saw beyond the suffering into the healing, into God's glory. He saw Easter Sunday through Good Friday. I think he saw me and you here today. And I think that sight brought a joy to his heart that sustained him along the way of the cross. If only we shared this sight of Christ, I think we would find healing in our trials and be able to hold on to our merry hearts. It's like the athlete who keeps her eye on the prize and sees through the sacrifice to championship feats. Or the musician who knows that repetition and rehearsal results in the command performance. And this is not just a glass half empty or half full kind of outlook. It's much deeper than just optimism or pessimism. For the Christian, this is hope. I think about myself on my own. I can get blinded by the brokenness that I encounter in life 
you know, that image of dry bones in our passage from Proverbs or the prophet Ezekiel, that image of dryness rings true to me. I could get stuck there in the land of all the things and people I don't have. But because of Jesus, I can see through the sufferings and loss in my life. I can see the communion of the saints. What a vision of heaven. What wondrous love. Oh, I want to be a part of that. I'm reminded of St. Ignatius of Loyola, who began his great study in discernment with a realization that he famously describes like this. When he thought of worldly matters, he found much delight, but after growing weary and dismissing them, he found that he was dry and unhappy. But when he thought of imitating the saints, he not only found consolation in these thoughts, but even after they had left him, he remained happy and joyful. Yes, I want to remain happy and joyful too. So let us think of imitating the saints as they imitated Christ. I know that it heals my own short-sightedness to think of how the saints could see through sufferings into glory. They were just like us and just like Jesus. It's pretty glorious. Oh, Jesus, give us your sight so that we can have merry hearts that bring healing into our lives and the lives of those around us. Together, let us pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father God, bless us with heavenly grace so that, possessed of perfect freedom, we may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens us now here on earth. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for praying with us today. May the blessing of Almighty God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you always. Amen. May our glorious God grant you a peaceful day. See you tomorrow, everyone, and stay blessed. <laughs>